So I was running late, really late, for the AIA convention. They were having this great lecture, and I was looking forward to it all week. Then I opened the doors, and it was just a sea of people, just people everywhere. So I started walking down the center aisle, and I was looking, see here, no seats, no seats. So I finally ended up finding a place to stand in the back, and it was right behind this tall guy. I couldn't see anything. It was just like this, and I was peeking around, and I couldn't see him. And I was just thinking, like, if I just grabbed him and just moved him, I could see. It. As the lecture is going to begin, Megan, this beautiful blonde girl, starts walking down the aisle. I'm like, okay. All right, she's coming towards me. There's nowhere to sit, and maybe she'll stand next to me. If there wasn't any room, she ends up standing right behind me. And uh, the whole time, I'm just—it was probably several minutes where I was very nervous. And I was trying to figure out some way of talking to her. Um, and then she tapped me on the shoulder. And I uh, and I said, "Well, excuse me. Uh, if I stand in front of you, we'll both be able to see." We probably had about a minute or two before my friends who were also there were sitting and had gotten me a seat, called me over and said, Keith, come on over, hurry, hurry. And I remember him, he looked at his friend and he looked at me, and he looked at his friend, he looked at me, and I said, go, you've got this fantastic opportunity for a seat at this lecture, go. <laughs> so I reluctantly went and sat down. And uh, for the 40 minutes of the lecture, I kept an eye on her and I was wondering what she was doing and noticed that she'd left. And uh, so at that point in time, I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe, I, maybe I'll go find uh, the restroom. So I told my friends I'll be back. And I'm pacing the corridor trying to find her. And I actually see her coming. And we pass, and it's just like nothing, n <laughs> not even a look. And uh, so I went back the other way, and I saw her coming towards me again. And I was going to figure out, okay, well, how, do I, how do I get her attention? I need something. And this, this delivery guy wanted to know where loading dock 7 was and I had no idea and I saw that Megan was coming and I said well you know I don't know what she does and she can tell you and, and at that moment that was when I said oh, who is this how does he know that I oh it's that guy from the lecture who stood in front of me it was the jerk <laughs> right so um so I gave the guy directions and then uh, I wouldn't let her go at that point in time and so <laughs> I, uh, I said okay um, can you sh give me a tour show me around. And I thought he was genuinely interested in a tour of the school. <laughs> so as we're wrapping up the, the tour um, we're looking at the, uh, the AIA design boards and I noticed that she and her friend are moving at a quicker pace and we're not really able to keep up my friend and I uh, and so I told my friend so uh, maybe we'll just let them go they're not really that interested. And uh, my friend said, well, at least get her number. I'm like, all right. So um, as I run to catch up with Megan and her friend, I come up with a story for why I would be needing to get her number in this kind of strange context. So I came up with the idea, okay, well, maybe I have to leave, and maybe I have dinner, and maybe I'm really popular, and I've got lots of things to do. So I said, uh, well, my friend, we have to leave. We have, we have um, dinner with friends. Uh, but um, if I remember our nearby, maybe I can give you a call and get coffee. And that was the moment that I noticed him. That, it took me that long to notice that he was actually uh, interested in me. And then I saw him and I thought, oh my, oh my gosh, he's cute. Do something, do something. So I, um, I said, uh, well, it's too bad that you have to go out to dinner with your friends because um, otherwise maybe we could go to dinner. <laughs> so then at that point, I had to explain that I didn't really have to go to dinner, that I wasn't cool, that I wasn't popular, that I wasn't busy, <laughs> and that I'd love to go out to dinner. And, and then friend, I realized you're not a jerk. And then I'm not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I thought you were so charming. And we've spent uh, every day together since then. <laughs>